Hey everybody, welcome to eTrailer.com. I'm Bobby and today we're taking a look in the Koenig Standard Snow Tire Chain here on our 2021 Chevy Spark. Now this is gonna be an excellent little way of getting yourself a tire chain. Now we are gonna have a D-link pattern in here, so it's not gonna be your most aggressive. It's gonna put you right in that nice little middle zone there. So gonna do a good job of churning through that snow and ice for ourselves without being so aggressive on our driveways and especially the roads that we are gonna be driving on. One thing I really like about it, one of, these, one of the easiest installations for snow tire change you can get out there. And as you guys are gonna see later in the video, it takes no time at all. We're gonna go ahead, take a closer look, start looking at some chains. As we take a closer look here, you can see that we are getting a diamond style pattern. So what that means, we're gonna have just a small amount of coverage here where a whole hand can fit in. Then as you can see, you're gonna get a lot of good coverage of chain across the entirety. The only spot where you're gonna have a lot is where that front connection is. And of course, you're getting good coverage across the entirety of that of our wheel. What that's given us, really good turning radius as well. Still allowing us to turn through that snow and ice though. Comparing it to ladder style, that ladder style gets you a lot of humps that you have to kind of go over. So you start losing a little bit on your turning radius. Nice that we don't have to sacrifice that for our purchase through that snow and ice. It is gonna be made of a manganese nickel alloy, so we don't have to worry about corrosion even when we leave it on our vehicle for a lot of the season. Now, as you mentioned, the installation isn't gonna take any time at all. One thing to take note of, we do have it here on our front tire. That is because it is a front wheel drive vehicle. So let's go ahead and see how we get these installed. For our first part of our installation, we just wanna go ahead and lay out our chains. We're gonna go ahead and make sure we don't have any kinks that are gonna bind up our chains, getting nice and flush on our tire. So as you guys can see, no real issues here today. Now, of course, proper storage can really help cut down on the time you have to watch these guys. The only other thing to watch out for, too, is we are going to be pushing this across, underneath our tire and bringing it back across. So we're going to want our smooth side actually facing up. So you guys can see here we have that smooth side while our hard points of contact are going to be towards the outside because we don't want those making any kind of contact with our tire causing any kind of damage. So now that we are nice and set for ourselves, we'll go ahead Kind of make sure these guys are nice and tight against our cable there. That way they don't bind up as we throw it across our tire like so. Of course, trying to find that middle point right in the middle of our tire. Go ahead and set these guys out of the way. And then we can go ahead and grab both ends of our connection and simply bring them across our tire. And as you guys can hopefully see, we wanna go ahead and make that first connection right there in the back. Go ahead and get that guy set and then start fitting our chain to fit on our tire. Now that we have that back connection made, we can go ahead and take our little red and our other red connector and simply slot them into each other. And then we wanna start setting the rest of our chain, of course, across here, getting it nice and set for ourselves, getting our tensioner set up to allow our extra chain to get in place. And then we just simply take our bottom connection here, open it up, place it in, and start tensioning, of course. And that's where you're getting that self-tensioning aspect. As you guys can see, it's gonna go ahead and allow itself to latch, get it in position. And of course, we can check and make sure we are getting tight. And we wanna go ahead and make sure we don't have any binds, of course, as we are going across the entirety of our wheel. Checking it, of course, as we go across, you can see how loose it is here. So let's go ahead and really start trying to bring this in line. So I went ahead, got a, one more chain in that tensioner there. And then we simply wanna place it in this little red holder, as you guys can see slot that in and then we can go ahead and get a little bit more tension here going across now one thing to watch too make sure that hook is pointed out don't want that poking in the sidewall of course as we've mentioned so we just go ahead get it looped in right there then we have it nice and tight across our tire now one thing with this too as we get this driving a little bit it's going to go ahead and cinch itself a little bit especially at the bottom here it's going to start fitting a little better and we want to go ahead and make sure it is self-tensioning as it goes across getting it nice and tight to our wheel well, as you guys saw, that installation doesn't take too much time for ourselves. I really like that I'm not having to scrounge underneath our spark. A couple other tire chains we've done on this guy, you can see not a lot of clearance. So nice that I can just stay on the outside of our vehicle here. Don't have to get underneath, especially if you do find yourself in that ice and snow, it can be a pain to get underneath. So I like that it's just right there on the front for ourselves. A couple little nice things too. It is gonna come in this little travel case for ourselves. One thing about it, it's not canvas. It's not gonna be easily ripped or anything. So it is gonna be holding up even in we have a wet chain we can throw it in here that way we're not dirtying up our vehicle it makes it really easy to store that way we always have it when we need to well again guys i think the koenig self-tensioning snow tire chains are going to be a great option for ourselves again can't really beat that insulation especially in the spark 
Well, I think that's going to about do it for our look at the Koenig standard snow tire chains here on our 2021 Chevy Spark. I'm Bobby. Thank you for watching.